Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to some more Pokemon Spork. Last episode, we started to explore the Sea Star Society. We went shopping, got a lot of heart scales so we can actually use the uh, that currency, which is very good because everything is very cheap in heart scales and cost 100 Poker Dollars. We bought a Master Ball, we got some marbles, we got some TMs, we got a bunch of shopping done. We got a Super Potion, not a Super Potion, but Soup or Potion. We don't know whether it's Potion or Soup, but it heals us for 200 HP, which is great. We found Delicia trying to get some chocolate eclairs and they were sold out and that made her very, very angry. So we had to go see if um, there's some spare donuts that were getting fed to Volcanion. Luckily there was because um, if there wasn't, Delicia would not be very happy. We then found Emily trying to help with the simulation so we battled some of them, got them uh, back to wherever they needed to go. Then we entered the tournament, we defeated Cor Corellia. we defeated Brutus and we defeated the ex-first gym leader and now there's a special like um, guest panel going on with Brutus and someone very special we need to go see so we're gonna go and talk to Emily and see what's happening next looks like we're all here let's go to the park then all right let's go I want to see who this special oh it's like Lefion nice is that Manaphy yeah Manaphy just up there I said before like I really like like Manaphy and Fiona they're really cool but apparently unless you get permission from I believe Ivan we can't actually capture any of these which is unfortunate, but oh. Jump off! Just gonna run away from that bad boy. Alright, what's going on? Wow, you caught Fionn? I've heard you need to get permission from Ivan to catch Manaphy and Fionn. Oh, hi Delicia, Volsi, Emily, and Corellia. How do you know our names? Alright, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Blueberry. There are seven of us with fruit based code names. Who have been having Volsi battle us? Fault is being all of us except myself and Strawberry. And Delicia is person, personal friends with us. <laughs> Emily, you remember the uh, person in front of Wendy's gym, right? That was Grape. She was uh, waiting there to battle Voltsy. Oh, I do remember her. I thought she was just an employee for Silk Studio. I've just been hanging out here waiting for Voltsy. I did get permission from Ivan to catch Fionn, since Ivan knows about us. Manaphy and Fionn have lived here since before the Sea Stars settled here, which is why they're treated so highly. It's at the request of the Sea Stars that they're classified as legendary Pokemon. Oh cool, didn't know about that. Why are you guys battling Voltsy though? Voltsy explains to Emily. That sounds interesting. Come to think of it, I do remember seeing a lady in Cienosa's cafe with a lemon themed outfit. Normally we'd battle right now, but I need to get your permission first. That's how it works in the Sea Star Society. Do you want to battle Voltsy? Alright, let's go. Yay, then let's get started. Fion? Hey, here we go. So, Bubbly Blueberry. Funny story about blueberries. Um, I went to like the supermarket the other day. Well, not the other day, like other month. And um, I had these like little chocolate chip like muffins, which were really, really nice. I went to go buy some, got home, and I realized I accidentally bought blueberry muffins. And I, usually, before, I, I didn't like blueberries. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to try them. I accidentally bought them. You know, I'm not going to go return them and get new ones because it's just, you know, it's a pound muffin. I don't really care. I ate the blueberry muffin, I was like, oh my god, I like blueberries now, these are delicious, and yeah, just not really that interesting, I just, I like blueberries now. <laughs> right, so uh, I'm going to try an iron head, so much damage we can do here. Not much, I'm going to switch into Ari. Get that heal up, and you can start spamming all them dragon dances you want, because you are dragon flying. Four times we all. Oh. No, that's fine. Blizzard still hits you. Cool. <laughs> Easy. Easy peasy. Alright, zoom all coming out. Uh, let's go. Let's go to the valley. Part fairy so we can iron head it. Okay, this is not bad damage, but it's even fun to fang any better. Oh, a lot better. Ouch, okay. Oh yeah, of course we're fire type, aren't we? Oops. I totally forgot. I need to change the memory of the valley. Done with fire types for the time being. Um, let's go... Blink. Fake out. Bit of damage. And then Psychic to hopefully finish you off. Sweet. Two down, four more to go. Stored power. Uh, no thanks. Jump up. Gotta go to Ari, because that's grass and flying. Blizzard. See you later. You ain't living a blizzard. 
Alright, three more Pokemon left. There's Wubet. You might as well stay in. Just Blizzard everything. So we know she's probably going to use Fiona at some point, but Glaceon. Let's go to Incineroar. Go for a nice Flamethrower. Don't freeze me. Good. Oh, look at that HP. So weak. Oh, there's Fiona. Right, I'm gonna stay him. I'm gonna go for a Larry. Just oh, you, you outspeed me. Was not expecting that. Okay. I thought we'd outspeed that little guy, but let's just go blink. We can fake it out, do a teeny bit of damage, and then we'll start spamming some psychics. Oh, nice. I'm gonna Glaceon for staying because it's so weak and just psychic. Is that it? GG? GG! Only one left now. That's Strawberry. Sorry that your first battle was a loss, Fionn. You still did amazingly, though. Aww. Only Strawberry's left. You're so close. I think she said she couldn't wait for you since she had something important to do, but maybe you'll run into her anyway. I'm gonna go for a walk with Fionn so we can get to know each other more. See you later. Alright, see ya. That one seems kinda neat, but I'm wondering what the purpose of battling you is for. I know it's normal to want to battle good trainers, but this seems like some kind of test too. Felicia, would you know anything about this? You are friends with them after all. <laughs> Guess it's just for Voltsy to find out then. Should we go to the Sea Star Shrine then? Ready when you are. Alright, sounds good, let's go. If we can get permission, I want to capture a Manaphy. Like, I'm not going to lie, if we can get a Manaphy, I might put it on the team. Like, I love Manaphy and I, I don't remember ever using a Manaphy on my team. Like, I know I've owned one. Because I, I got the event on Pokemon Diamond where you uh, get the Manaphy Egg from completing Pokemon Ranger. Was it Ranger? I think it was. I'll probably replace... Oh, I can't place Looney Tunes because he knows Fly, but... What's this? Oh, that's the Shrine up ahead. Okay. Ooh. Is that Anne? Our new champion? Please settle down, everyone, so our guests can speak. Our first speaker will be Brutus who some of you may remember from the battle tournament earlier. Brutus, the floor is yours. Thank you, Ivan. Like Ivan said, some of you may have seen me in the tournament. A few others may know me from before then. Peach, Ivan, and Mida certainly do. My name is Brutus. Brutus, I, I am Paul. It's been a long time since I've been here. The last time I was here, the CLS League wasn't even thought of yet. It sure has, it's been so long. I don't even remember how long it's been. Peach, please don't interrupt our guest. It's been 537 years. How do you remember that? It's been so long. I think the memories of important historical events should be preserved as vividly as possible to those who are a part of them. And I'll use a calendar. <laughs> In any case, please don't talk over our guest again. We should be giving Brutus our full attention at the moment. Right, sorry, I just get carried away sometimes. It's alright, I know how easily excitable you are, Peach. I think everyone here knows. Moving on, I'm here giving this speech because I want to stop running away from the mistakes I've made in the past. Just so we're all on the same page here. You're all familiar with the the rogues, right? Mm, yes. Great, and then get straight to the point. I was in the first wave of people to come to CLS at the time. What I really cared about was battling. It's what I lived for. So when the rogues paid me to help them in their missions, I wasn't going to turn down their offer. Since you all know about the rogues, you might know about the one whose name was erased from history. The one who attacked Aliora City and was stopped there by Kobalion. But I didn't get the message then. Instead of, maybe I shouldn't be doing this, my thoughts were closer to, I came to the wrong neighborhood. By the time humans discovered the Sea Star Society, the battle was mostly over. The rogues were on, the last, on their last leg. The Guardian saw how intense the battles would get him and decided to intervene. None of the rogues could even scratch the Guardian's Pokemon. The leader of the opposition to the rogues was Kayla. After the Sea Star's civilization was discovered, Kayla wanted to talk to the CLS about forming a Pokemon League. My job was to go down there with a small team and cause chaos, which we did. But it wasn't a smart move at all. It was a desperate, spiteful move from the rogue commanders, who knew they were, go were going to lose. I ended up fighting Kayla and, C and CLS at the same time. I couldn't have been either of them individually, much less two on one. Shortly after that, the CLS League was formed. I felt so ashamed of myself, I asked for my name to be removed from any mention of events surrounding my involvement with the rogues. 
Obviously the ones who were around at the time would still know, but to anyone born after, I could blend in as a normal citizen. But that's not the closure I want. Even today, there are still a few who don't trust me. Maybe some of you in the audience. I want to come clean with what I did, apologise for it, and help to make the region a better place. When I was last here, I didn't care to learn about this wonderful underwater society. I was just here to start trouble. I recently checked out a book from Varima's library about the history of sea stars, and got the okay from Peach and Ivan to visit. I understand that a group called Team Portal has been a growing problem in CLS, and that Peach and Ivan have been preparing should there be an attack here. As my redemption for attacking this place in the past, I'd like to help defend it. Maybe there won't be an attack, Ivan seems confident that Quinn, who attacked the underwater hotel, loves this place too much to do anything. But if there is, I'd like to be of help. And to clarify, this has nothing to do with what Peach mentioned me as being recently appointed as at the tournament. That's separate from this. I actually asked for that to be put on hold until we can be confident Team Portal isn't a threat anymore. And that's pretty much all I had to say. Thank you for listening, and I hope you give me a chance. Well, that was profound. I think everyone was expecting me to be the star of the show, but I can't top that. In fact, it made a lot of my speech redundant. Go on anyway, and we're honoured to have you here. And I'm honoured to be here. As the new champion, I wanted to give this place a visit. Since CLS was the first champion, it felt appropriate to visit this or his place of origin. And I was going to mention Team Portal, but Brutus covered that already. All I can add is that I wasn't around during that time, but I think we should let Brutus prove that he's changed for the better. Well, that's all. You're welcome to stick around if you have any questions. But if not, you're all dismissed. Thank you for coming here today. And if it's okay, I wanted to say... I've always wanted to go to space, and hopefully we'll be working together one day. And congratulations on becoming champion. You're Krolia, aren't you? Lumia told me about you when I was battling her. She's really proud of you. She told me about your empath abilities and your interest in space as well. I also hope you'll be on the, my team going to space. But thanks. Though I suppose after the incident from two years ago, it'll, it's, it'll be a while before you consider going back. Maybe. We're still trying to keep details on that top secret. Krillia, are these your friends? Yes, they are. This is Voltsy, this is Emily, and this is Delicia. I remember Voltsy saying you've already met, though. Uh, I know you're not really interested in the league, Krillia. What about you three? Voltsy and I are doing the league challenge. We've got 11 badges already. Then, here's the deal. If Voltsy or Emily manage to get all the badges and defeat me, I'll take you all to Area S1, and we'll try to get this sorted out so we can go to space. How's that sound, Krillia? That sounds amazing! Now we have another reason to do the League Challenge, Voltsy. I'll be waiting for you at the Pokemon League. Today's show has been eventful. I'm so happy. Don't even know how to explain in words. If you're going to do that, you have to battle me too. I'm one of the Elite Four. Are you psychic types? So, have you battled Thomas yet? Or did you come here before doing that? We couldn't battle Thomas because he was doing a study, but we would have uh, came here first anyway. Cool. That means I can watch. Are you coming to, I uh, coming to Ivan? It'd be dishonest of me to say I wouldn't like to see it, but I have my hands full at the moment. Since Brutus is going to be helping us, I'd like to show him around. But I do have another idea. Before you all go up to the ocean coast, why not battle me, Voltsy? Like I said, not even rule makers are exempt from the rules, so I have to ask first. Okay, excellent. I'll let you prepare first, so speak to me whenever you're ready. Okay, so he is... I forgot what type he is. Leaf form what? Water, right? No. I don't remember. Okay. Either way, I was going to make um, my Sylvalli. I kind of feel like making a water type. I thought be very helpful. I just cannot remember his type, though. Right. Let's go. I know you're a strong trainer, Voltsy. I've seen it for myself. I expect great things from you in the future. But I don't think I'll be an easy opponent. I was a gym leader myself once. Sea Star Rips. Wait, is he not a Leaf Four? I suppose he's a Leaf Four member as well, but he does have water types, so. Let's go for a Thunder Fang. Too bad, it's part of Rock, so we could still go for a multi attack. Oh, take that back. Right, Thunder Fang. Still fine, Flash Cannon will be good. Just keep stunning, Thunder Fang will be alright. I love this music so much. Artillery, uh, stay in. 
a flinch? Oh, let's go! Does all these Pokemon have leftovers? I feel like it, they do. Ah, oh, you got the poison on me, that sucks. It's fine, it's fine. I know a fun thing. Also, before you switch on a Pokemon, I need to bring up this. Just check. Yeah, go to still recording. My, uh, my OBS software just closed itself down. Well, minimized itself, I should say. Right, because we're not going to really live. We're going to stay in. Actually, do I have full restore? I'm pretty sure I do. I'll do. Get rid of that poison. The reason we can't just try and win with Sylvalia alone. Oh, Ice Beam, ouch. Got a crit, let's go. Recover, cover, that's fine. Got a paralysis, eh? Hey. Goodbye, Starmie. I feel like every time I, like, you know, you put the memory on Sylvalia and like, the little, little, little colours on them change. Like, I swear that each time I do it, it looks so much better. Like, it looked cool pink, it looked cool red, it looks really cool blue. No matter what colour you put on Sylvalia, it just looks so sweet. I love it. Alright, Manaphy coming out. Oh, cute little Manaphy. Oh man, that is tanking those uh, Thunder Fangs though. Hell Glow, okay. Like, whatever it hits me with now, I'm gonna get so taken out. Yep. So I'm gonna outspeed it. I'm pretty sure Blink can outspeed it and Psychic should be fine, but we'll fake it out first just in case. Teeny mini bit of damage. Is that it? Oh, of course, still. Doesn't matter if you like Goose Gold, because you can't burn me. Although I'd much prefer to burn than poison. Hey! Thank you for that spectacular battle. You're welcome. Excellent! Just like your uh, tournament battles. I suppose you'll all be going up with uh, Peach now. Actually, there's something I want to ask. It's been in my mind for a while. From what I've heard, no one knows where Sealus is today. How does he just disappear like that? I wish I knew. As you've probably heard, he resigned as champion because he wanted to travel to other regions. Something we don't often tell people is that he actually did come back after that and stayed here for a while. After some time, he said there was somewhere else he was going, but that, this time, it wasn't another region. Then he put me in charge here. Not another region, so he could still be in Cialis? It's possible. The door on the back of the shrine leads to a garden. And beyond the garden is what we call the soap room. Okay. Only Cialis, uh, Peach and myself are allowed access. My first thought was to check there, but I didn't find him. But instead of worrying about all that, don't you have a gym battle to prepare for? Who knows, maybe you'll end up meeting Cialis in your travels. That'd be awesome. I guess we should be heading up now. We'll be sure to visit again. I look forward to it. Good luck with everything. Okay, sounds good. Do you think potentially, I, I doubt it, but do you think CLS could potentially be in that um, that big door in the dark dungeon we saw? That, uh, I forget her name. The girl who last episode gave us the... Uh, Torchic. Wait, I want to speak to Ivan real quick, because maybe I can get permission to catch a Manaphy. No. So I don't think we can capture these if we wanted to. Oh. No, can't do anything with them. Right, so let's quickly get back down to the meeting area and then we can, I guess, surf back up or dive back up. She's still dealing with that? <laughs> There's so many of them. It's going to take a while. All right, good luck. Right, so we want to go north to find Thomas, don't we? Oh, I can't get for that little gap. I think it was north to get to Tomas. Pretty sure. Metal Swamp. It's gotta be it. And if Tomas is a, uh, a poison type gym leader, well, we know he's poison, so we should really put the psychic memory onto Silvalli. And we'll have a good time. Very good time. Yo, what up? A lot of people are coming through today. Well, because Thomas should be back and we can get our gym badge. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Just multi attack everyone. Get that sweet, sweet XP. Nice. I'm gonna turn this to level 57. Good, good. 
Marble. Can we serve across? Yes! Marble! For 28 now, I believe. I know there's... Oh, 29. Sweet. I know there's a, um, a note file in the, in the folder about all the locations of the marbles and stuff, but right now I just want to play through the game, try to find it myself, because it's more fun just trying to find, you know, the things on your own. And then if I want to try and get the... all the marbles once I, you know, finish the game, I'll then look at the list and see what, you know, what it does, where they all are. And get that sweet, sweet reward. Easy peasy. Oh. Turtle. Wait. Tur hey. Come here. Yep. Gotcha. Oh. Sweet. Nice little turtle just chilling. Just chilling in Cedar Rapids. He was going super fast though. Oh. There he is. Yo, what up? It's been a while, Voltsy. From what I've heard, you've been pretty busy. I was just telling your sister here about our vitamin operation. I had no idea what all of that happened. Uh, that must have been why I was way ahead of you in battling uh, Ollie Droll's gyms. That was suddenly a roller coaster. I love roller coasters. I've been waiting for this for a while. We've got quite the crowd here today, but that's uh, fitting for a trainer like you. Let's get started. Oh, we're going straight for the gym battle? Okay, I would have healed up a little bit, but I'm fine. Alright, Morty attack will just destroy Toxicroak. Off to a good start. Nihi Lego. It's poison and rock, isn't it? So... I think I'm going to switch into Lose Me for this. Go for a Brick Break. Splash Bomb. Come on, live it. Ouch. What we need is a Focus Sash for Lose Me. That'd be so good. Um... Blink. Psychic. Four point one. I'm just gonna keep stunning psychic until, yeah, until he's gone. Dragon and psychic, isn't it? So we'll be fine. I think we got this this gym in the bag. You can switch if you want. I mean, whoever comes in is gonna take a nice psychic to the face. So yeah. Regular. Ah, uh, yeah. Come back out. It's all good. Psychic. Any more? Oh, a lot of muck. Oh, it's pot dark, isn't it? Oops. Light screen. So I think of a special defense drop on the uh the shadow balls, but that's one. Right, dark and poison. Uh ground up really good here. Um yeah, we'll just go nine tails. Go for a blizzard. Goldtrick's gonna hurt a lot, but it's gonna take me out one hit. That's what it's gonna do. Honestly, thought we could live that and just another blizzard will finish the mock off, but it's all good. Alright, flamethrower! Still got Sil Valley if need be, so we all good. Tendercruel, uh, let's go Sil Valley. Oh wow, one hit? Let's go! Hey, you continue to prove your skill. Thank you very much. One important part of scientific studies is for others to make sure your results can be replicated. Gym after gym, you've replicated victory. You're not finished yet, but I think Anne should watch out for both you and Emily, or else the second champion's tenure might be short-lived. Here's the jelly, ooh, jelly badge. In addition to this TM, toxic, very good TM. Right. Where we go next? Oh, I guess we can head west, because I guess the simulation will be probably picked up by now. I think you'll be heading west now. I believe Carol finished collecting all these simulations. But before we do that, I want to say something. Do you remember how I said I was almost 17 before we went down to the Sea Star Society? Let me guess, it's your birthday today? My mum is going to have a birthday party. Um, Delicia already knows, so vote to Emily. Consider this as your invitation. I'd love to go. You have six badges left, right? That's two more before you're at the Elite Four of Gym Leaders. Wait, Elite Four of Gym Leaders? Okay. My mum is one of them. I think you'll have time to get to the other two badges before the party. A birthday party? Am I invited? Oh, I should have included you too. Of course you are. Yay! 
I'll tell uh, everyone from the league. You can expect every gym leader and Elite Four to be there, including Nan. Maybe I can even get Ivan to come, and Brutus too, and Mita. Wow, that's really nice of you, nice of you all. I'm so happy you're all my friends. That's what friends do. Volti, Emily, Delicia, and Thomas nods in agreement. Ah, before you all head off, there's one more thing. I'm sure you've seen them by now, but there are some species of Pokemon classified as Ultra Beasts. Got a few. These Pokemon are from another dimension. Delicia and I have one, and your Nihi Lego is one too. That's correct, I assume you're familiar with how they got here. Lusamine, president of the Aether Foundation, opened up a massive Ultra Wormhole that sent a lot of them to this dimension. She was under the influence of Nihi Lego's Neurotoxin when she did that. Correct again, I've been researching them. They may come from another dimension, but they're still Pokemon. If you treat them with kindness, they'll be kind to you too. Faulty, I think I can trust this one to you. Ha! In your face, Emily. I got an Ultra Beast for free and you didn't. Neat. I had enough time against uh, Thomas and Nihilego myself. I guess we should be off now. I'll meet up with you guys again soon. Go tell everyone about the party. I want to see if Duncan got more donuts yet too. <laughs> okay, what's behind your... Gym? Nothing. Okay. So, I guess I'm going to end right here. Next episode, we're going to head west. Carol's picked up all the simulations and then we can go for the next gym badge. Look at the map. I'm quite sure you guys where we're going. Uh, wait, no. Pokemon gear. Map. We are going to... Umura? Umura? Umura. I'm going to go through uh, Ryla Jungle first. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Peace.